do you believe that outside fingering can be called fingering? I mean, I guess I don't know what else you would call it. Getting handsy, messing around. I think I would just say rubbed her clit or rubbed their clit. Nah, I would not. No one would say that. No. Okay, <laughs> got it. The queen, okay, the queen yeah, herself. Well, guys, I, I have done it before, so you guys can't say that I've never done it. <laughs> She's not arguing whether or not you did yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but just sounds like she didn't believe me, and I do. I have rubbed clits before, so. I've rubbed my clit. I've rubbed someone else's. <laughs> I believe it. The mullet Thank alone. You. I, then you can move. <laughs>Hey guys, thanks for listening to We're Having Gay Sex. I'm the host, Ashley Gavin. Thank you for watching. We're going to start releasing these on YouTube now every week. Um, this week, it was a little tough with the editing, but I think I got it now. So if there's some choppy sections, we only had the one camera. So that's why. It's too much information. Yeah, no one needs to know. <laughs> I hope you come back and listen. We're going to release them every Monday. It's uh, basically like you're listening to uh, two queer comedians hanging out with their much more famous friends. We've had some incredible guests on. This week we have uh, Shannon Beverage on. She was so fantastic. And this is 100% funded by Patreon. So if you want 40 bonus minutes on this episode, go to patreon.com slash WHGS. It's linked in the description. And I'm so excited to finally be putting these on YouTube. You have been asking. I am delivering. I'm still not co totally comfortable with YouTube, so I'm going to stop now. Enjoy the episode. Thank you. No, you are, like, by far one of our most requested guests. No way. That's so nice. Yeah, people love you. I mean, you you know this. You're very, very big on <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, you, you must know that people you love you. You are aware right? that yeah, people love you. You're obsessed with yourself, right? <laughs> Shannon, how does it feel to have everyone <laughs> love you? No, uh, but you really are. You really are, like, because we have Elena Elena Joy and um, Brianne Williamson on, and I don't cool. know if you guys are like affiliated in any way, but we definitely, I feel like we all know each other, you know, I've, I've yeah. met them before. That's funny because like, I feel like asking lesbian YouTubers if they know other lesbian YouTubers is like with me. If someone was like, oh, I know this non-binary person. Do you do you also <laughs> know that non-binary person? Yeah, but if they worked at your coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, but if like. If they worked at the YouTube farmer's is market like a, with you. Like you. everyone's around the world. Like, uh, I, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> okay. Well, we're really excited. The bottom line is we're really excited to have <laughs> you. Very you excited. are a fan favorite before we've even released it. And um, Can I just ask before we start also, everyone's pronouns oh we're oh, doing yeah. that we're gonna do it on the show i love shannon <laughs> you know what i'm obsessed this is with a shannon. great this is a great intro it to, is we're gonna start right here yeah we always forget to do our intro so the fact that you were like could we all say our pronouns i'm you like one oh, up well, yeah us. now we're fucking now <laughs> we're fucking does. yeah um, oh, awesome. Well, we'll why don't, we'll get there, but I'm she, her, and Gara is they, them. I'm saying yeah, it for thank you. Thank you for saying it for top me. You. Yeah, no, that was good. I needed that. Awesome. Um, we're, well, we what an incredible guest we truly, have today. Truly. We're going now, Shannon. Yeah. This is the show. <laughs> yeah, this is the show, Shannon. I'm in. I'm <laughs> this, in. <laughs> this is actually the most warning we've given anybody. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that that it is the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just, so we're starting right now. now. We're okay, going. now it's the show. And I'm checking that we're recording, and <laughs> we Great, are. And we are. Yeah. What an incredible guest incredible. we have today youtube incredible. royalty youtube royalty that's what i'm gonna say no. yeah we're YouTube, youtube royalty i don't know if you need to say queer i think it was youtube royalty yes anyway. royalty regardless yeah, royalty regardless yeah i'll take but the queer. also <laughs> queer youtube queer, queer royalty. YouTube royalty. obviously big youtuber now mm -hmm. doing some work in films we have a we have a film a production company that i scoped out hell yeah now this is living you know her you love her i think i'm using her pronouns right i didn't <laughs> ask her back oh yeah we did it <laughs> and yeah. shannon beverage shannon everybody beverage. <laughs> I pressed no it. No more hijacking my, my I pressed shits. the board. You say my uh, pronouns, you press my soundboard. I don't like it. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm loving this show. I feel like I'm watching the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little stressed that I have to contribute to this, but I will do my best. No, we- You're already doing great. You're doing great. Okay. And it's so hard when you're not in the room with people yeah. so yeah so get on a flight right now yeah just, jump on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i'll build uh, you know what i'll get a i'm gonna get a business card my i oh, also i don't know why i thought you were gonna say i'm gonna build a boat <laughs> i'm gonna build a boat for <laughs> ashley of arc <laughs> wait where are you i already asked you this but i immediately i'm in forgot. la la yeah. so a boat would be pretty unnecessary a boat, yeah that would be pretty, yeah that would yeah. be a lot of trouble y'all are in new york 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you okay. feel about the Panama Canal? You you ever want to go there? I think that's the most direct route if you were to go by boat. I love boats, honestly. So put me oh. anywhere on a boat and I'll be happy. Truly. Well, we're excited to have you. Mm-hmm. I'm having a, I'm going to be honest. I'm having a little bit of a rocky week. No. Why? Well, I was just stand up. Everything's opening again. Stand up comedy is opening again. Sure. And like over the, over the year, not to toot our own horns because we are no, we are not queer royalty. Well, no, uh, we're like the jesters. No, yeah, I'm we're the sure jesters. They bring us in and they're like, jester, come in. And we're like, we're having gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's us. <laughs> um, no, Shannon's the queen. And Shannon's we're, the queen. Yeah. We're the jesters. No, but yeah. we, became, we became the jesters this past year. So it's really cool. weird to like be doing stand up comedy again, like post all of this happening. And I'm just having like a weird. I don't know if you're feeling weird going back into the world, but I'm feeling weird going back into the world. Mm-hmm. Definitely feeling weird going back into the world. Like, I don't know how to socialize at all. Yeah, yeah. But, and also, I was just telling my roommate, like, I have really bad ADHD. ADD, I guess they got rid of the H. I don't even know. I don't even know. Who's but, they? <laughs> yeah. The, the non-binary prince yeah. of learning disabilities yeah. got rid of the- <laughs> Yeah. Prince X, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. But I'm having the hardest time remembering who I told things to. So I like come home and I'm like, did I tell you the story? Because I'm like, I have been only talking to like three people for a year. And now I'm like kind of talking to other people. And I'm like, wait, am I repeating myself like all over the place? Like, I don't remember who I told. I don't know if you guys have this, but I now feel like I need to impress the shit out of waiters and waitresses. (laughs) I like literally feel like. Waitress X. Waitrixes. 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 Waiters, waitrixes, and waitresses. I feel like when I like sit down, I have like an hour to like really, really dazzle them. I don't know if you guys feel this way. Do you not? No, I don't, you don't have feel that. this way. Wow, I don't feel Honestly, that pressure. I'm just obsessed with uh, our essential workers, and that's why I um, want to dazzle them. So, wow. there you go. Yeah, I'm okay. a good person. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. I feel like <laughs> I, I'm constantly worried that I'm offending people. I've always been that way, but now I'm like, I'm hyper. Like, what did I say? Because I'm having trouble reading people because sure. we haven't been reading people in right. so long. Right. Masks also make it hard. Like, I feel like you only yeah. have this top of half of people's faces to figure out, like, what they're yeah. doing. Or you'll have to, like, tell people, like, I'm making a smirk right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm isn't that so yeah. weird? Yeah. That's so true. I, I, like, learned this thing recently, too, that – so I, like, pace when I'm on a phone call. Like, I cannot oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. if I'm just on a voice call. And I thought I was weird. And I saw this thing, and it was, like, because we're so conditioned as humans to be watching someone reacting to you talking that if you don't have that to interpret – your body is like, okay, well, now I have to walk around. Because it, like, needs to yeah, be busy right. doing Whoa. something else while someone's yeah. talking. Oh, my like, God. Like, that's similarly happening with, like, the masks and lack of yeah. human connection. Like, we just, we're all learning how to be social again in different ways. Right now, Shannon, I'm so anxious talking to you. No. Because I'm like, yeah, no. You're, like, literally, you're, like, a waitrix. Like, I am <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Well, we have non-binary server here, yeah. <laughs> Shannon essential Beverage. Essential worker, Shannon Beverage. <laughs> YouTubers are essential workers. They really that, were, they, though. They really were, they really though. Were. Truly. Yeah, I, I really uh, did not work, though, essentially, then. Because I didn't post a YouTube video for the whole of quarantine, basically. Really? really? No way. Yeah, for a just whole year. Just taking time off? I just like, yeah, I don't know. I just was not inspired by anything yeah. and I wasn't really doing anything. And like, I don't know. I just like, was like, I don't want to do it. And then I just realized that I just kind of didn't have to do it because right. I don't know. I just could, I, I don't I could not do it. I do not. I didn't even like cross my mind. I used to forever have this anxiety. Like, oh, it's been like two weeks since I posted a YouTube yeah, video. Like yeah. I must post another video. Yeah. And then during quarantine, I just was like, yeah, I'm just not going to do it. And I was creating other content. I'd filmed like a whole project of, for my ex-girlfriend's like EP that she put out. And so we basically spent that time like creatively doing that. And so I right. had I had like my fix of creation that just wasn't coming from YouTube. The first thing I was going to ask you was like what you were working on, because it seems like you're a creative person. I imagine it would be very hard to like just totally stop yeah but the right. fact that you and don't worry we have already chosen your side i know nothing about this but um <laughs> oh, i am like on chosen your side your side <laughs> there's no sides. all sides are the right side 
that's the diplomatic answer that <laughs> Shannon Beveridge is giving the public. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, right. For the public, yeah, you can use this against me later. I'm on Shannon's side. Yeah, I don't know sure. what happened. Yeah, you know I'm nothing about it. Yeah, literally but you're on nothing. Side. Wait, were you guys dating when you were doing the stuff for the EP? Uh, no, we were exes at that time too. Oh, whoa! But, wow. Okay, okay yeah. so you're like exes. You stayed who friends. Worked together. Yeah, but we. I mean, we were like romantically not. We were like not together, but we were. Mm, it's complicated. Together. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, banging. Yeah. It was basically. <laughs> you might say, but yeah. <laughs> Some would call yeah. it banging, or <laughs> some might call blasting. it a fuck buddy, if you will. <laughs> yeah, it was not only friendly, but yeah, we were. But we were still like exes in that we were like we're not getting back together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was very like Julia Michaels. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? Moment. Wow. I really feel that though, because like during the the pandemic, I feel like you had to make I choices. I just realized what you were quoting. I was like, <laughs> if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? I was like, you thought oh. she's like a lyricist. She's like, <laughs> yeah. dude, oh my you're God, a fucking you poet. You had to drop an EP. Uh, that was <laughs> Thank gorgeous. You. Thank if you. the world was ending, you'd come over, right? <laughs> <laughs> you'd come over, right? <laughs> you'd come over. You'd come you'd over, over, right? right? <laughs> you guys. You need to make a band. Oh, we my all God, do. Sorry, imagine? say what you were going to say. What I was going to say was oh God. <laughs> during the pandemic, I think we all made relationship choices based on the pandemic sure, because yeah. we didn't know how long. And that's totally fine and appropriate yeah. for you to like, if you need a certain, a fuck buddy that you wouldn't otherwise have not during yeah, the pandemic, like yeah. that's okay. Like if you're in a relationship and you know, maybe it will be ending soon, not not uh not previewing anything in my own life here it's okay to stay <laughs> no with that person that. during the pan i have a much i have a girlfriend who's a little younger than i am and we were together during the pandemic but we're oh i'm not that's gonna get cut that's gonna get cut we have not we have not broken up we have not broken up the pandemic's ending that's what i'm saying yeah uh, at some point we are will. babbling Samantha. Yeah, we need to. We, we need should to do. start the show. Yeah, let's actually introduce let's, ourselves. Yeah. Wow, you are really toppy during this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just switchy right now. You're switchy. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you I'm do like, have a little. You got a little skater boy yeah, outfit yeah, going yeah, on. They were a skater, Rex. They said, "See you later." Rex. I'll introduce everybody. Yeah, introduce everyone. Hello. Thank you for listening. If you are a big fan of Shannon, thank you for being here. But also, please stay. I am Ashley Gavin. I am a cis, gay, white woman. She, her pronouns. Uh, I don't know. I'm I. I'm feeling bot like I'm bottoming to Gara today. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Whoa. And That's huge for me because I am a bratty bottom. You are just a <laughs> big bratty bottom. Well, let's introduce you. As always, youth in the sound booth keeps me from getting canceled. A bratty bob, <laughs> a little brats doll. Your non, yeah. your non-binary no. <laughs> skater boy brats doll. Yeah. Yeah. Gara Lonnie. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. If you guys remember the boy brats dolls growing up. Up, I do. Shannon, did you play with Brad Stalls growing up? I didn't play with them, but I remember them. Fondly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you were more of like a Barbie or like a Polly. Big Barbie kid. girl. Big, big, Barbie, big girl. Barbie girl. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um. Hi, my name is Gary. My pronouns are they, them, uh, theirs. Uh, I'm non-binary, transmasculine. I'm white, and uh, that's it. Uh, I'm Shannon Beveridge. I am a cis lesbian she her pronouns apparently gay royalty yeah <laughs> no, oh that's yours that. that is that is yours <laughs> and a barbie lover and a barbie, and a barbie lover. lover yeah yeah which is more to do with the fact that my sister's five years older than me she loved barbies and obviously sure. my mom just made me play with everything my sister played with but sure right i did make right. them be lesbian lovers with each other so. that's what yeah, i was gonna right, ask right, right when you were playing with the barbies how yeah. were they sexual they were they like they were sometimes naked together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Those were the best dolls to do it with, though, were Barbies. Why? Because they had, like, such, like weird because you could like pull them in every which way and kind of like put them on top of each other it's important like, for children to know about the kama sutra yeah That's what yeah you're right trying exactly to say. exactly exactly okay oh god i'm a little off today no you're not at all what do you think shannon am i off <laughs> i think you seem great i'm enjoying this thoroughly I love, shannon <laughs> you're you. great wait can, can i say something quickly of course to you shannon 
You kind of look like Jennifer Lawrence. Do you get that ever? Oh, that's nice. I get, sometimes I get comments on my YouTube, like, about that. Or oh, really? Jennifer Lawrence, specifically? Yeah, and um, Meghan Markle, weirdly. You and get Meghan Markle? I see I get, that. Really? And I get young Demi Moore. Yeah, yeah, Demi Moore. And I get, you do look like Demi Moore. Yeah, she does. <gasps> Whoa. And I get Missy Peregrine the most. You guys, are you familiar with the movie no. Stick It? Oh my God, you do look like the girl from Stick It. Wow, that's it. That. My young she queer held mind right she now. Held up. Oh, oh uh, the yeah, two. Yeah. So yeah, that's like her. Yeah. Wow, you can't do that anymore because literally that was my like. I that was know. my queer movie. Was Stick It? Was like that's yeah. like one of those movies that like you realize when you get older there was nothing gay in it. But like when you're younger, you're like, no, 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 wasn't that gay? That was a gay movie. No, that's not. And then you watch it back, and you're like, nothing gay happened. There's not, not even an innuendo of gay. No, no, just, not at it all. It was just her looking kind of gay. Oh, but she was so. Hot. Does she look gay? So hot. I'm looking, yeah, so looking gay. It look up. it up. So she starts off as a skater, and like she's like moving through these. Or no, she's like doing parkour. And she's like doing parkour and breaking into houses, and she's like a delinquent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. then they make her be look a gymnast. No, no, no. Look oh. at that. She, yeah, they like make her be like femme and stuff. There's a picture of her in the bathtub with Is the she gay? sports bra on. No, I she's not gay in real she's life. Not gay. How can she not be gay? It's That's shocking. the gayest right? woman I've ever seen in my entire life. In the life. early 2000s, they would always have these girls who were like, yeah, whatever. I'm just like, <laughs> just like one, one of the guys. guys. One of the guys' <laughs> girls. Yeah. But Not now gay. she's in like a cop show or something, and she is also still looks very gay. Dude, I literally have a. Jo- oh, I'm so sorry. It's finished. Rookie Blue. No. I'm, oh, that's what it's called. Rookie that's Blue. That's the show she's in. If okay, you got are, it. if you are a gay woman and you don't read as gay on screen, like short haircut, you know, like tattoos and stuff like that, the only role you cop. go out for is Lady Cop. cop. Yeah, Lady Period. Cop. Period. Yeah. That's all <laughs> yeah. I audition for it's is Lady, Lady Cop. cop. No. <laughs> But they're, but they're straight. And like, same with like Mariska, Marissa Harvey, Har- I can oh, never Mariska say. Mariska Hargate, yeah. Thank you. I'm like, how are you straight? And how did you yeah. never have any queer storyline at yeah. all? Yeah, that's like Hillary Swank as well, though. True Hillary that. Hillary Swank, you know Hillary Swank? Yeah, I'm trying to think what cop she played. No, 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 not a cop, but she has Paul that, Blart like, Mall Cop? Yeah, Paul Blart Mall Hillary Cop. Co- Hillary Swank <laughs> Hillary starring Swank. in Paul, Paul Blart, Blart, Blart Mall Cop. cop. I would no, watch she it. just, like, she, she's always, like, a boxer. She's always, like, a... Yeah, yeah. I bet she's I mean, a cop. She's she did cop. play a trans man in uh, Oh, Poison she Pride. did? Yeah. yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, okay. Is she gay? No. Hillary no. Swank is not gay. She is straight. Okay. Yeah. All of, I, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. all of these women are gay. <laughs> Did you say criminal? Yeah. Criminal that she's <laughs> it's not gay. Despicable. <laughs> it's a heinous she crime. She should be arrested. It's a heinous by crime. By it's a war a lady crime. Cop. It's a hate crime. Yeah. It's a hate crime that Hillary Swank is not criminal. gay. Criminal. Um oh, you I think like I think you're like okay, I'm gonna be very forward right now yeah, and just do say it, it. Do it before before you I... are very beautiful, but you are exactly the type that I'm like turning red right now I'm like you can't tell her that <laughs> no then she'll know that you're very <laughs> you're very beautiful but you're exactly the type where I would be on hinge and I'd be like are we just gonna be like two guys hanging out if we go on a date <laughs> uh-huh. like what is gonna happen here like does uh-huh. she have like ma- she's right on the line of that I'm talking about her like she's not here I know you are right on the <laughs> line it. of that like masculine energy where like I can't I could never yeah. date someone like you because I would feel gay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Is this God. therapy right now? What's going do you, on? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this sounds like some internalized homophobia, but I. Oh, yeah. just, just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I do hear you. I feel like she and she's just kind of like a, a much better looking version of me. <laughs> well, that that is true, but I also feel like Shannon has Avril Lavigne energy, which is like you don't like know, but she's like pretty mass, but she seems like she could like punch you in the face and then like kiss you on the forehead after. You know what I'm saying? Wow, well, have you thought about it? <laughs> I, I haven't. I have. Uh, I feel like I'm I am being like totally analyzed, and I love it. B- but well, I'm curious, how do you perceive yourself, and what types of people do you tend to go after i would say i also have some internalized homophobia as we all do so i i have been um i tend to be more attracted to like ultra feminine women um i think that comes also from my like past in a sorority and i'm just like i just want to be i want to date that girl that 
all the boys wanted to date. That's yeah. kind of like where I'm at. Whoa. She and I are the same. We are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we are the same. same. Yeah. I think let's get into it. Yeah, I think we should. Get into it. I'm going to give you a choice of story. Yeah. I have two possible stories. Uh, oh, we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with I Shannon think they, Beverage. I think they know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went to Puerto Rico with my girlfriend. I'm going to pull a Gara. I identify as having gone to Puerto Rico with yeah. my girlfriend. <laughs> and we were I fully vaxxed. Well. We went on vacay as soon as we could. And because uh, we were pandemic dating. So now we're out and we could finally do something. We had a lot of sex on the vacation. Yeah. No surprise there. I'm gonna, I could share one of those stories. Alternatively, I could talk about the story that I've had sort of on my mind the first girl that I ever made orgasm. So, so those, I have a sex story from Puerto Rico, sort of the, the shark, if you will. And then we have the New York story, the first time I made a girl come, and that'll be the jet. Are you a God, shark or a jet? Sharks. Wow. I, I feel selfish because I want both. Um, I can't do both. I can't believe it. <laughs> Did you think about that earlier, calling it the shark and the jet No, that is, a, that is a West Side Story reference that came out of me right in the moment. That was funny. Um, what do you want, Kara? I kind of want the Puerto Rico story. You want Puerto Rico? Yeah, a little bit. I went to Puerto Rico with Jen. I started dating Jen about like maybe a month before full quarantine. Oh, maybe yeah. Less. Right, 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 right. We, we made it official. So yeah. this was really one of our first like outings our first trip together mm -hmm. i love so many things about jen she is funny she's talented she's kind she makes me a better person but <laughs> yeah. oh, best no. of all oh, best of she's all. hot yeah she's really she hot. hot she's hot she's and hot. Yeah. uh to have had jen indoors for a full year oh man getting to bring getting her out i know i was just thinking that like to have your hot girlfriend like on a beach is just like yep. i mean that's where she thrives she like it's thrives. like taking a dog to the dog park like it's just like oh you're a different dog oh, here like you're a better dog here i can should see you show be a dog. do you have your phone i want to show shannon my girlfriend yeah, I don't know why I thought you were like, we should show Shannon your dog. I was like, yeah, let's I, show Shannon my dog. I'm still not over the analogy of like taking your dog to the dog park. <laughs> Talking about Dude. your girlfriend. She and this, it, it's not just me. People my people who don't know me and know how much I fucking love my girlfriend and how amazing she is who are listening for the first time might be like, Ashley, you're a douche. She loves this shit. Oh, yeah. She's stunning. She belongs on the beach. She belongs, she belongs on, the beach. on the beach. Jen identifies as belonging on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> so look, Ashley, I'm staying. I belong <laughs> on the beach. I can't leave. <laughs> the voice. What happened to your girlfriend, Ashley? I had to leave her. She belongs on the beach. <laughs> it's like we're standing on the beach. It's yeah. like the end of the movie. I'm like, yeah. no. Yeah. Go! Get out of here. Get out. Can't you see? I don't want you anymore. And then you turn around. You're like, goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Air bud. <laughs> Truly. Beach anyway, bud. Okay. But like it was so much fun. And I, I just had so much fun. Like it was just the whole thing was super sexy. But the first day was like not at all because stuff with our ferry tickets got messed uh -huh. up. We had to get COVID tested when we arrived. Oh, and it, it wasn't where it was supposed to be. So we had to like go to all these sure, different places. Yeah. It was a long day, yeah. hot in the sun. Yeah. Not really prepared for that. I'm just grateful to be on vacation. So it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. But then when we got there, we were exhausted. We yeah. woke. Also, our flight was at five in the morning and sure. it got really delayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm forgetting all of these things. Like uh -huh. everything that could yeah. have gone wrong travel wise sure, went wrong. Yeah. So we're exhausted when we get there. Yeah. We, we're not going to have sex on the, you know, like that night. Yeah. We turn out the lights. We start to go to bed. And I realized I, I start. I'm like kind of I don't know how we started messing around, but we started messing around. And I realized I have not had sex in the dark in ages whoa really yeah pitch dark pitch dark oh shannon do you do, do you have sex in the dark <laughs> shannon how do you feel about yeah, sex with shannon. The <laughs> i've definitely had sex in the dark in the light uh, i yeah. don't have a preference i mean my preference would be somewhere in between pitch dark and very bright mood Got lighting it. yeah i feel like yeah. everyone agrees with that though sure, right yeah I guess yes. some people prefer pitch dark. It's nice if you're like have some insecurity. Oh, for sure. For sure. I, I understand why people do pitch dark. I, I can't. Period. I've like never in the really dark? had pitch dark sex. Why? 
uh, because I can't you get see what's going on. Yeah, under the yeah bed. I'm like terrified. I'm like, uh, can you turn the light on? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like that I can't see what's going on. Well, I live in a studio apartment, so mm. we, you don't go into a separate room. You, you, the kitchen light is on. You're not yeah. going to stop to go into the kitchen. Right, right, right. Yeah. So the lights have been on. The lights are off and we're messing around. And I realized... And I feel so stupid about this. It's so much easier to like dirty talk in the dark. Oh, it is really? so much easier to like make more like ballsy moves in, oh, yeah. in the dark. Because mm-hmm. it's sense. like it restricts some of your senses, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, just gonna say there's a sensory thing about it too, because everything feels it's like right. if you take away one sense, then all your other ones are heightened, right? So Right. Exactly. Right. And I mean, I have had blindfolded sex. <laughs> but not so that is pitch not- dark. I, that is bit shark, but I think the fact that the other person can see, can see. A, a guide of sorts, yeah. <laughs> your sexual walking stick, yeah. if you will. No. That's what we're gonna call Jacob's Stop penis from it. now. <laughs> the sex walking stick. Oh my god! But I just I we're in the dark uh-huh. and I'm dirty talking. She's dirty talking more than usual. Oh, great. I'm more of like the leader in the dirty talking department. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. leader, yeah, the pre- I'm president, the CEO, CEO of, dirty of talk. the dirty talk department. <laughs> and then I was like, I was fingering her. I was inside fingering her. This is another classic debate. Yeah, we've had Got for it. centuries. Fingering. Yeah. That is what I pictured when you said fingering inside. Do you believe that outside fingering can be called fingering? I mean, I guess I don't know what else you would call it. Like a hand job for a girl. Yeah, it's like yeah. getting handsy, messing around. Yeah, getting handsy. Did a little over the pants stuff. Yeah, over the pants stuff. Well, yeah. I, I think that's over the pants stuff. I I I'm not sure that I would call their clit or figuring. rub their clit. Nah, I would not. No one would say that. No, okay, right. got it. <laughs> the queen, okay, the queen yeah, herself. Well, guys, I, I have done it before, so you guys can't say that I've never done it. So, Because I have rubbed a clit, and I really liked it, <laughs> and she did too, so... She's not arguing whether or not you did yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but it just sounded like she didn't believe me. And I do, I have rubbed clits before. So I've rubbed my clit. I've rubbed someone else's. I believe it. The mullet Thank alone. You. I, then you can move. <laughs> I don't even need to say it. I just walk into a place and people are like, that person's rubbed a clit. Yeah. Yeah. We can Damn. see it. It's written all over yeah. you. This actually just grew after I rubbed, <laughs> rubbed one clit. I actually had this short haircut. hair and then the bottom half just went and it just like grew. Um, keep going I was yeah. there we were in the dark it's good it was really it was really good it was exciting it was exciting to have something different even though we were so tired and burned mm-hmm. out from the day mm-hmm. so I, w- I had I don't remember like what kind of how we were positioned but I was like I think I think I'm gonna put my pinky in her butt nice and I think I'm gonna put my pinky in her butt <laughs> <laughs> that's the song called pinky in her butt <laughs> I think you're gonna put a pinky in the butt. <laughs> what are you on today? What did you have for breakfast? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> did you get Did you get railed last night? Uh, no. Yeah, no. This is just me. This is how I am. This is an especially energetic. Am I era. really? Yeah. I think I'm just feeling better that we're in the same place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that that's why. I think I just being around other people, I think I just feel better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, keep I going. Really- <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm done, I'm Do done. Do you want to You want to produce a music video to our uh, <laughs> yeah, Gary? I would, I would love to. Yeah. A I think it's a got potential. Got potential. <laughs> yeah. Well, I texted Jen and I literally said, can I talk about the pinky in your butt? Wow, she she said, ha, great. ha, ha. Did hmm. she send a picture? Yeah, I think that's fine. Can great. you share your screen? Oh, great. Yeah, that's she was thinking about posting that picture. But she should. Um, That's from Puerto Rico. So I put the pinky in and I have to say, this was the first time I think I've ever. I have had a finger in the butt from behind with other fingers in but uh-huh. i think this was the first time i did the true one-handed f- two and two i'd hate saying oh, i can't shocker. say it i can't the shocker, the shocker. yeah yeah the i think shocker. this was the first time i ever did that like properly oh nice yeah yeah so, so you had a pinky in the butt you had this finger up here and you were rubbing the clit i don't remember if i was rubbing her clit oh, also okay Half maybe shocker. <laughs> I don't remember. I think she might have been doing that. It was in the dark. We couldn't tell. We couldn't, couldn't see yeah, anything. Yeah. We didn't so have Jacob didn't there to yeah. kind of guide the way. So 
yeah, that's that was what I I'm not an that's amazing great. gay sex no, story. I, I think we talked more thing. about Beanie Babies than that. No, but no, no, that was good. I was I uh I like a finger in the butt. I like doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I like doing it. Got a finger in the butt. <laughs> it's a different song every time, and I love each of them. <laughs> Thank Me <you>. too. <laughs> so yeah, I think. It was interesting because leaving your apartment and going somewhere different can lead to like different experiences just sure, because of yeah. things like that you don't even think about. Right. Yeah. So I don't know, listener, if you're at home and you've had a routine going with your partner yeah. and it's kind of bored you, maybe yeah. just go to a hotel in your area. It might oh, make yeah, might make things different for you sexy. or just yeah, like yeah, go yeah. to a different room. Yeah, right. <laughs> go to a different room in your house. Get to yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, fuck in the kitchen. Yeah, that's actually that's not bad advice. Yeah, that's good a, advice. So that's my gay sex from this week. That was good. I like that. Shannon, did you have gay sex this week? Okay. So here's the thing. I have a fear of my followers caring too much about who I am or I am not sleeping with. Um, for sure. Mm-hmm. Just because I've had two really big internet breakups uh-huh. oh. you are queer royalty and <laughs> yeah yeah these things happen yeah i've gotten to the point where so like my first relationship was super public like yeah i mean videos and everything right like all the time and then that breakup was super traumatic because i felt like i broke up with like hundreds of thousands of people oh, like it was like yeah. every, like in a like a oh. joint heartbreak oh. and then my reaction to having such a public relationship was then my next relationship keeping it ultra private and like yeah. never even confirming that we were or weren't dating but obviously people were like assumed and like it got mm-hmm. to a point where it's like obviously you're dating but we just didn't say and now I'm at this new point in my life where I'm like okay neither one of those worked right yeah, <laughs> so right. ultra public I think a bad idea ultra private also caused you know like some insecurities and problems and now I'm like at a new point where I'm like, I don't know how I haven't decided yet how I feel about any relationship or yeah. even you don't like, have to decide right now. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. So, so I'm thinking we could talk about a gay sex story from the past. Perfect. Yeah. I feel Would very fine with that. But awesome. I just haven't decided what it is. Um, there's Would just you so like- many options. Um, do you that means have... like I've had so much gay sex. I guess, <laughs> like, I guess it's I just have. like so many, you guys. I can't even remember. <laughs> so many options. Well, let me ask you this: When did you? How old were you when you came out? Um, so I came out when I was twenty-two, I think, like fully came out right after I graduated college. But I, so this is the thing: I fell in love in high school with this girl whose parents were ultra conservative very mm-hmm. bible yeah they had a nickname for her mom in my town like bible and then her name i tried to keep Whoa. her anonymous 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 yeah, whatever I, I, I want to keep and... her anonymous totally totally because her trajectory has been very different than my trajectory uh-huh. as far as her queerness um so oh, i thought we were talking about the mom oh yeah i was too. i was like did the mom no, no, blow no. up yeah, on youtube she okay <laughs> yeah, we're talking about her so the daughter but i'm like I, I don't know how anyone would ever fucking figure that out but i just don't ever i don't want to be the, i don't want to out anyone ever in yeah night. yeah for absolutely, sure, for sure. absolutely so anyway i fell in love with this girl we never had sex but we would make out a lot and I would give her a lot of over the pants hand jobs as we yeah, were talking yeah, about yeah. before. And For she sure. never, ever touched me, which was such an interesting, she had a lot of like guilt. Huh. So anyway, we end up stop talking. Cause she's like, this is wrong. We're going to hell. And I was like, you're uh-huh. right. We're going to hell. We can't do this anymore. Obviously. <laughs> you would, we, wait, 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 wait. I, because you were I, like, yeah, I'm in love with her. And she's like, we're going to hell. And I'm like, oh, I'm in love with you. And you, you're like, you I'm know going with you, sweetie. <laughs> That's I, the and- funny thing about love is you will straight up be like, yes, we are going yeah, to hell. Yeah, fully sure. not believing yeah, in right, such right, a right. place. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah, you're right. But yeah, I also grew up in Dallas. So everyone around me really believes in heaven and hell and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the interesting part of the story is that we continued to like make out and hook up even after, but then it was just tortured, which made it even better. You know, yeah. it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, got, it was better. The hookups yeah, got better. Yeah. What? Yeah. God, what is it about like makeup getting back together, like hookups that just like 
it's so unhealthy, but it, it does right. touch like a weird oh, yeah. part I mean, of like, your and brain. And also thinking that you're going to hell. Like, <laughs> they, like that when I was like thought I was going to hell and was like watching porn literally like multiple times a day. Like it would literally be like me jerking it to like some like fucking video and then getting done and be like, oh, my God, I can never do this again. And then the next time I do it, I'm but like, do you think the, I got to do it? I I have never worried that I'm going to hell. Sure, I'm yeah. not. I well, did not are, grow up so. with religion. <laughs> Obviously. <Yeah. laughs> For I'm here to is. tell you, you're, you're headed reasons. in that direction. <laughs> Jew, gay. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons that I'm going to hell. But I do you think it makes it hotter to do the sin the sin stuff? like yeah, it's like if, naughty it's like you're yeah. doing the naughty and it's not and you're also like oh this is i'm bad this yeah. is bad yeah. and it feels better somehow how fucked yeah. up is that damn yeah. now i feel like i'm kind of missing out <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just yeah. need to find religion and then like let it destroy get, me you know, yeah let it destroy you exactly. and then come out yeah. again yeah i mean like i yeah I had, a, I had a partner that was really similar of like it was like wrong for us but his was more of like his parents didn't want him to have sex but like that made us want to do it more and actually do it in like his bedroom like the closer we could get to like i don't know if you were like the same way like like the not like the getting caught but like doing it and oh like, yeah we like, like we made out in the back of her dad's car one time when yeah. he was driving oh whoa like, what? <laughs> In like the in like an expedition How big a car in the like is this? a huge it's Texas so every car is massive but <laughs> it was like an expedition and we were in the last row and like positioned ourselves in a way that like they couldn't see as we were on our way to look at Baylor which is in Waco oh, Texas women's college in yeah. Texas right no, it's not a women's college but it's super ultra conservative yeah it's, yeah yeah oh I mean most of them are but we're literally on our way to visit the, the college and we made out in the very back of the car. Oh my god! And that makes it so much more exciting. And also, right, it's right, funny because right. you're also in high school, so you're really mostly making out. Like, but then your yeah. girls. Anyway, but yeah. let me. I digress. This is what happened yeah. though. Sure. We hook up in her hot tub one night. Definitely possible. Anyone could have seen. And then we go inside, and I'm there to like spend the night. And we talk about. This is the funniest thing. And I, I've talked about this story like on podcasts and on my YouTube channel, but I'm never sure if I've ever mentioned this thing. So we're talking in her room. Nice, Shannon. That nice. was a really yeah. good quick Yeah, good, good, really good, good, good. We'll good put that in there, yeah. Something that Shannon yes. maybe has <laughs> never, never talked said. about. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, okay. So we're, we're talking in a room about how we had made out a few like weeks prior and she queef and we were uh, like i was making fun of her like we were joking about it like hysterically yeah. laughing about this her queefing right uh -huh. sure is, as you would so yeah so stupid and then her mom comes in the room knocks on the door she's like we need to talk to you in our room not me her daughter they take her <gasps> he leaves for two hours what? I sit two hours, two hours? Did you feel like you were like trapped in this room? You were like, what am I supposed to do? What what did it, you do? It was torture. I just sat <gasps> there. And this is like Oh my God. This is like before like you could even like <gasps> just be on TikTok for two hours and not realize that two <laughs> right, hours yeah. Not Kids today, they don't know yeah. what they have. Yeah, you guys don't <laughs> no. understand. Shannon was fully just staring at a wall for two hours. I had to feel the we didn't passing even have of time books back yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just sat and waited and stressed and was like, what could possibly happen oh, and i'm thinking they saw us in the hot tub right i'm like Fuck. right obviously yeah. they saw us in the hot tub my life is did over did you think about leaving were you like maybe i could leave so i'm like very from texas so i'm thinking like it's midnight and i'm not supposed to drive my car after midnight so 16 i had that like license where you can't drive and i'm like i can't drive i'll get in trouble <laughs> wait i love when so you're like, like you're like i'm going to hell with this girl <laughs> We're like breaking all the rules, but I will not drive my car. Out. I won't drive after midnight. No, I'm. I don't even know. My morality was definitely under pressure at that point in time. And you know, growing up in Texas, you're just also just like a fearful. I feel like there was a general yeah, idea sure, of everyone sure, sure. just yeah, being like afraid it. of. Yeah, I mean, most, mostly Jesus, but then yeah. that trickles into everything yep. else. Right, but they tell you he's all around you at all. Yeah, time. he is you're everywhere. Like, oh, so God. you're like, oh, and then I'm like, oh, I'm doing this gay stuff, so I have to be like really good at everything yeah. else. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get straight A's, and I'm gonna yeah. go to church. Okay, but yeah. who cares? So they take her. 
they leave for two hours finally they come back her her mom's like um shannon you have to leave and you're not allowed to come over anymore you're never allowed to spend the night she's not allowed to come to your house whatever and i'm like okay (laughs) okay and i and i'm like okay but this is my response to this right i go okay but it's like two in the morning and i'm not allowed to drive after midnight uh-huh. Wow, wow. Yeah. what a fucking yeah, yeah, lesbian yeah. topping the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And so she she's like, okay, well, you can sleep on the couch. I'm like, this is the worst fucking night in my life. Oh, and she's like, she's like, and we're calling your mom and your dad. Oh no, oh no. And my parents are divorced, and my dad at the time is married to a woman 20 years younger than him, oh, who goodness. I like looked up to and thought was cool, but also I'm like, I don't want her to know. I'm doing gay shit. Like this is very personal to me. Yeah. Right. So I like cried back. I'm like, I don't, I don't think I cried. I was so like overwhelmed, but I just was like, could you please not call my dad? I was like, you can tell my mom, please don't tell my dad because I just don't want my stepmom to know. And somehow that worked and she didn't end up telling my dad, but she did tell my mom. Anyway, we, I what spent- did, so she, they, so, What did she tell them? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Then this is the crazy thing. So then she's like, I'm going to let you guys talk for a second and then I'll be back. Mm-hmm. And they closed the door and left. And I thought in the moment, I'm like, this seems backwards that they would give us any chance to yeah, speak. Yeah, but like, right. And so me and her talked to each other and she's like, my dad told me I'm disgusting. And they told me like, we're going to hell and this and this and this, but she like whispers it all so quietly. And I'm like, well, did you tell them like, do they know like what do they even know and she's like yeah yeah they just assumed that something's going on and I denied it I told them nothing's going on but like they just they don't believe me whatever so I'm like okay two weeks later I spent that whole time thinking damn they watched me make out with their daughter in the hot tub they yeah, saw it yeah. and that was so uncomfortable oh, for me God. right yeah. but then two weeks later she's cleaning her room and she finds a baby monitor in the corner of her room <gasps> hidden and so oh. they didn't they didn't find out we were doing gay stuff because of the hot tub. They found oh. out because of the queef story as I'm making fun of their queefing when we're making out. What? Yeah. Oh, that's worse. I think that that's worse. That than is, I agree that it is the worse. Hot tub. <gasps> yeah, that it is so, so fucked, fucked up. up. Oh my God. So they put the baby monitor in And the that's room? why they let us talk to each other because they, they thought that yeah. they would hear her explaining. Even more, yeah. even more stuff. Like, oh, they, they caught us, oh, they know. Oh my and we, God. And we also talked with like, the, like mice when, when we were talking about it. Like, I don't yeah. even think, nothing could pick it up. We were like yeah. so Yeah, scared. I like that the baby monitor turned into an end baby monitor. Yeah, <laughs> you're so right. It's like a, a queer monitor. <laughs> like, yeah. what else are you using this baby right. monitor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just for you know, making sure your baby Did makes they it through have, the night. Like, it's a they queer just, like, monitor. Added from like when like they were like I have kids. no, I have no idea. No, I'm obviously so they, 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 they never thought she, about it. she feared. I mean, that thing, even if they no, had no, it. No, I'm just saying like they, they had it and they put it in there. Even if they, I mean, who knows? It could have been in there for weeks. Obviously, these parents thought that this girl yeah, right. was queer. Yeah, right. Like oh, feared God. it and rather than talking to the oh, kid about it. God. They're like, we'll just catch him. We'll just catch him. So Whoa. weird. So did you never like see her again after that? No, we saw each other forever and they didn't tell my dad and my parents are divorced. So she would spend the night at my dad's house for a while oh, no way. before we got caught. Like we were like, and then like, it was weird. They like, they, they started doing like nightly Bible studies with her nightly. Oh, and I think kind of like trusted her when she was like, oh, nothing's going on. And then I got a boyfriend. So they're like, oh, nothing's going on. Obviously, a beard. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. I don't like this boyfriend, but right, right, right. Anyway, yeah, it just it went on. It went on all the way until I got to college, and Whoa. yeah, and then the end of it was when I started dating my very first very public girlfriend, Cami, and I told I was like, hey, like, <gasps> obviously, like I've loved you for all this time, but you are not wanting. You will never be in a relationship yeah, with me, yeah. and I am gay, and I'm just letting you know I'm gay. And now I found a girl who will be gay with me. And I yeah. like her, and so this is over. Aww. And then, like, really, like, have no relationship with her now. Oh God, is she is she still in the closet? So she ended up going to like conversion therapy, is what I heard. No. Essentially, oh, my God. oh no. And the craziest thing ever is that, and like, basically, people go on it and like explain 
their like, oh, this is what I went through. And this is how I found Jesus, right? And so she, I, someone sent it to me and was like, <gasps> is this about you? It's a photo. <gasps> and she write, writes this whole thing. Hold on, I'm trying to find it for y'all. <laughs> oh YouTuber tried to turn me gay. <gasps> This oh, is it. Oh no. She has gay face. She's gay. <gasps> She's gay. She is gay face. You guys, 100%. That's a gay girl. Oh no. I don't know if you want to hear this whole thing, but it is very, it's it's like. No, okay. I do. Yeah, play it. I accepted Christ. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. And then, and then the verse is in here about fucking homosexuality. That thing about including oh. men who practice homosexuality, like men who lie with men. Yeah. So oh. She's like, um, whatever. She's, <laughs> this part kills me. She's like, she's washed of sin. She's like, even me, the girl who had committed homosexual sin, was brought. <laughs> this is psychotic to me. Yeah, this, I, I am like, nuts. this that's is a cult. Nuts. You are in a cult. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I I lost my mind. But also, like, she's become very religious. She's found Jesus. She publicly has now announced that she practiced homosexual sin and has been washed clear of it those are the weirdest people that is so weird and but the weirdest thing the it was like this internal thing that happened to me this happened this year 2020 this came out in 2020 and i was like and someone sent it to me and was like obviously this has to be about shannon who the hell else was she encountering i'm like i'm a very out gay woman and they're like yeah they were best friends so yeah shannon no of course but then, it, like, you think about it, and you're like, how sad that, like, my first love mm. thinks of me as their mm. biggest yeah. sin. Oh. Like, that's so, and that'll be how she thinks of me forever. And I'm oh. like, that's so, so sad for you. And, like, yeah. sad for me. Like, I feel gross. Like, I feel. Yeah. I really, yeah. I really relate to that. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, she didn't say, I, the one thing I was, like, very happy about, like, after reading it, is, like, it definitely was she worded it as it was like consensual. Like I was scared that sure. reading that in some way she may have been manipulated by people at this point in her life by them yeah, being right. like, well, yeah, this lesbian. She's this, a predator. Like, she is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the one positive that I was like, at least she like owned that she wanted to be in the homosexual sin. Although it was yeah. awful. That's yeah. very bad. The worst sin apparently. Yeah. Not all sin was equal, but somehow it was the worst one. <laughs> yeah right right but yeah that's oh, where man. i basically like lost my virginity too is whoa i'm uh, so sorry yeah that blows. it was crazy I, i've been in secret relationships as an adult <laughs> not with people who are publicly you know saying that they've did not not people like like this obviously yeah but like having someone that you love deny your existence or to call you sin or like to call like to say something about you is like so hurtful yeah it's so hurtful yeah. and I know everyone's like exploring and trying to figure out their stuff but it's important to keep in mind like even just if you're in a relationship maybe you're listening right now you identify as straight you're going through some shit maybe you're hooking up with someone for that partner, for your partner, it can be really important that you tell one person that you tell like that you're like making an effort to like yeah, right. to be out. Right. Of course, I don't right. want to rush anybody. Yeah. But like this type of shit is very traumatic yeah. for gay people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. also just like um, if you are in something with someone and it like you're not in it anymore in the future, like kind of making up in your head or like telling people like lies about what it was actually like really fucks with the other person yeah. and it fucks with yeah. you as well because it makes the person not be able to trust themselves about what happened or yeah. like trust like you know that you were actually in love or even like you know that yeah. your sex that you had like that you really valued and like cherished and stuff like that and i'm not saying that people can't change their minds later but talk to that fucking person what are you doing like, yeah ugh, yeah sucks i'm Blows. so sorry that that happened to yeah. you yeah I will say she looks gay to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely don't think you could be straight and be the, the like, have the relationship we had, but yeah, you know, but the, the, the silver lining of all of it is that that is the reason that I am talking to y'all. Like, it's the reason yeah. I have a YouTube channel. Like yeah. I went through that and it was so like, 
oh my God, I'm so alone. I can't talk to anyone. And I am, I am going to hell and I'm this terrible person. And she made me believe that so wholeheartedly that I like turned to the internet and I'm like, I need anyone to tell me that that's not the, the yeah, case. Yeah. And it's crazy. You think we think sometimes I think falsely that we're in a different place now it's 2021. Like I'm talking about 2010, but that is exactly the same place. So many kids are still in right now yes. because you yeah, live yeah, wherever true. you live. And then you're like, this is the reality. And then you find yourself like the internet is so powerful. It's also so becomes so harmful I think in so many ways mm -hmm. but like yeah mm -hmm. at least for the queer community it's like such a safe haven just to realize that you're there are other people that one day you could be one day your life could look like our lives how yeah. glamorous they are but, no you know. <laughs> I, I put I think it's glamorous. two in the stink or one in yeah, the pink, pink. <laughs> two in the stink. okay the no story's other changed. way other way but with a hot girl on the beach like that could be your life one yeah, day that listener could be your life yeah, I, I love true. that you how we went from you talking about putting your pinky in the butt to me going so listen to my trauma. Like, <laughs> no, I don't know how I did that, but I did do that. No, no, no. I, I loved it. I actually think uh, butt talk and trauma makes a lot of sense. Yeah, together. yeah. I think butt talk and trauma. Makes butt talk and trauma yeah. is our new podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but butt talk and trauma. <laughs> they go um, hand in hand. <laughs> well, that was a great gay sex story. Do you have, I know you have time, but I just want to check in. Do, do you have time for Gara? You guys, I'm chilling. I'm like considering opening a white claw. Is that crazy? I Open would a white love cloth. that. Oh my okay. God, that's awesome. I'll be oh, right back. Crack so it cool. into the mic when you do it. Yeah, right. I'm back with the white claw. What flavor? Watermelon. It seemed gay and appropriate yeah, fuck yeah well i don't have white claw because claws, i don't drink but i do law. have this one second now i'm oh, you law. have one now oh trader joe's i have trader joe's sparkling watermelon juice there you go oh my gosh we're twin cheers queers wow that was nice that'll sound really good on that mic yeah well <laughs> <laughs> well first of all thank you for doing the work that you're doing i know that like the fans reached out because you have had the impact that you're like talking about on them um so you know you're you're really doing a lot of good for the world and yeah. i'm so sorry that that happened to you yeah, that blows. um fuck that girl she is gay <laughs> gara did you have gay sex this week i did have gay sex this week i i did have sex um i'm on a journey right now shannon i'm have a big some what is up it's just not as good as i thought it was gonna be i yeah. to me fizzy drinks are not good unless there's alcohol in it that's just how if i drink like seltzer or some shit i'm like i just wish that there was alcohol in no this. i like flavored seltzer sorry about my cat Fulton. <laughs> i'm loving it i like flavored seltzer i like uh -huh. Lacroix and bubbly and stuff like this but this is not, not good this is not what i thought it would be anyway yeah i shannon i i'm on a journey right now i am really trying this summer i'm going to big, big summer, summer blowout, blowout. <laughs> it's my big <laughs> summer blowout I want to have a threesome this summer. This is my project. It's one of my summer goals. That and making margaritas my drink this summer, which is hard because I drank them the other night and just got intense uh, either alcohol poisoning or food poisoning, but still going to try. Anyway, I am trying to have a threesome. You seem like achievable goals. Thank you. <laughs> Shannon's like, do it. <laughs> Life's going to happen. Drink like five margaritas and go have a threesome. Um, uh, well, happen. thank you. Wow, Shannon Beveridge just signed off on my big <laughs> summer blowout. I'm going to get every guest to sign off on it. I'm going to send them a contract. <laughs> Not a contract, like a... I'm Shannon like Beveridge yeah, and I approve, I approve this, this threesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, so that's my big summer project project there's been some movement in my uh big summer project uh i am in a relationship um with a bisexual man um his name is jacob hi jacob he doesn't listen to this podcast so i don't know why i'm saying hi to him but <laughs> he's great we are in an open relationship i have been kind of exploring more like my poly side and we've been dating for like about four years now. But he, I thought what? you said poli sci. And I was like, Gara, are you going <laughs> back to school? I'm studying poli sci at Baylor University. Oh, my God. Brings up my trauma. Honestly, it can be the same thing if you want. Monogamy is a big part of yeah. uh, the uh, American political yeah, system. Yeah, you're right. Ka it's what capitalism wants us to do is be monogamous. Um, and I'm breaking and out. How? Exactly. And get the tax breaks. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to have a threesome and get a tax break. Anyway. <laughs> 
I brought this up. I can to hear Jacob. Republicans oh, being Michael. like AOC. AOC is running on a pro threesome tax yeah, right, break. Right, right, right. Yeah. If you have a threesome, AOC is going to give you an a thousand dollar stimulus right. check. No pun intended. I mean, like, someday we will know a politician, like, in a polyamorous relationship. Not for a thousand years. I, it will happen, though. <laughs> and you know, it, it almost years. happened with that um, politician who was bisexual and was in an open relationship, and she was having sex with It a wasn't open, people. though. She... Oh, it wasn't? That's why he... <laughs> oh, Look at the... Never mind. <laughs> MV, my bad, my bad. She was going through a divorce. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, okay. okay. Anyway, anyway, I just love your interpretation of it. Anyway, I decided that I was going to. I've kind of been in like a place with my partner Jacob, where like I'm trying to kind of like be like say what I want out of like polyamory, and he's kind of like he could see himself in an open relationship, but he's pretty hesitant to like do anything outside of our relationship but the other day we had a conversation about it and he was like you know and I, I need your advice advice from both of you on if this is he was like you know we could have a joint tinder and I was like but oh. aren't all of the couples aren't all of like the seemingly like heterosexual couples on joint tinders like when you're swiping through and Dude, you see this is them gonna they're be really the tough. worst yeah, exactly. And yeah. See, what do you what do you guys think about having a joint Tinder? I, I have thoughts. I'm gonna let Shannon go first. <sighs> it's complicated because I feel like it's become like a meme almost, and that's not a great look. I mean, okay, here's the thing. You're in New York, so I think that makes it better because people are like, oh, they're, if you have like a description, it's like we're poly. If you're in like Dallas, Texas, and you come across sure. the couple, it's like okay, they just want to have a threesome, and that's not tight. They would right. not allow this couple into Dallas, just yeah. FYI. Yeah. But I don't think I'm allowed into Dallas. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's called. I I have a friend who, for a long time, only hooked up with couples from Tinder. Oh, really? And that was like her thing. Oh, wow. So I think someone like that, they exist. That does That's exist. A great unicorn. idea. That's they a call really them great a idea. It's a unicorn. Yeah. This so they they're different. on Tinder. <laughs> I think just if you if you make your profile here's the thing here's what I fucking hated I've never okay. really been on dating sites but uh -huh. I have like seen them she knows about them she knows she's heard <laughs> I'm, of them I'm, Tinder I'm heard of it. yeah <laughs> um when you see a profile and it starts with the picture of one person right oh, whoever yeah, it is you, and then so you swipe right. through every picture and then the last yep. picture is the couple yep. you're like yep. so you're, you're so right that yeah. should suck. Like so if it's like fishing people. Yeah. Like yeah. start with the couple photo, make the bio be like, this is the deal. Yeah. And then yeah. you're gonna yeah, some people are gonna be like, okay, I'm not into that. And then other people will be like, Yeah, but I think it's kosher otherwise. Yeah. I don't think I'm thinking has. what we'll do is like go to like Walmart and get like eighties photos. Yeah. And like hold up a sign that's like, Will you be our third? Yeah, like, make it with funny. like ugly. Make that yeah, like yeah ugly you gotta sweaters. you gotta be funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. your biggest problem is gonna be finding the right person for you guys because you're not this is the most complex level of threesome uh-huh because you are non-binary yeah right he is bisexual uh-huh we are hot as hell no <laughs> come be our third <laughs> but like he, he like this is gonna be mm. difficult to find someone that meets all of your needs for sure so but I, think, I don't think in Brooklyn it would be hard to find. No, to not in Brooklyn. Yeah. Keep your search radius small. Keep yeah. it to one mile. You'll be fine. I think you have to be on the right app. I don't think you can be on Tinder. I think you have to oh, be on whoa. like, I think you whoa. need to be on Field. Or if you're going to be on Tinder, there's this new app called Field. What is it? It's like a little bit more for Polly, like I feel like you're doing an advertisement. No, I'm not. Right now. Yeah, I, I literally say, um, yeah. this is the most organic sponsored yeah, right. post I've ever seen. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, we planned it. I'm I gonna am talk about my three so stuff. talented. This episode is brought to you by Field. <laughs> 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 no, it's like a more, I just heard about it. It's more open relationship friendly. Oh, like really? queer people are on it. Really? I think to be on an app where like maybe the cool kids are hanging out. Okay. Rather than look, you can be on Tinder. No, 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 obviously. I don't think, I don't think Tinder is the place. I think that Tinder is not the place for what I kind of think Tinder is a good for. place though. Really? Really? Okay. Why? Yeah. I'm just going back to like thinking about my friend who did it. It was all through Tinder, but I guess it was okay. a few years ago. Well, I think honestly, make multiple profiles. Yeah, don't limit yourself. No yeah. one's gonna be, I, no one's gonna be offended 
if you do it the right way, you know, right, you're not like, offending I, anyone. See, but I am saying this. I'm like, are people going to judge the shit out of me? Like friends, yeah. like swiping past me and be well, like, well, it's oh, all going to be Gara's strangers. Doing it's going to be strangers. Yeah, but what if people like listen to the pod? And no one like, who li- people who listen to pod are going to be so fucking stoked when they come across. <laughs> the they are going to be like, oh, I get to have, I get to fuck the baby. They're going to be so excited. I'm going to be in your sound booth, youth. Yeah. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. That was good. I, But it is, like, funny how, like, I don't want to be, like, the couple that's, like, look, like in the corner of Cubbyhole being, like, you know. Because that's not what we would do. We would never, like, go out to, like, a lesbian bar. Because I don't find that very. And you're looking, not yucking anyone's yum. I don't find it very appropriate to go into queer spaces. Or, yes. No, lesbian spaces. Excuse me. I think queer spaces because we're both queer, like kind of a more open queer space maybe but like i don't think like a lesbian bar you're is, looking like, for a, you're looking for a guy or like an a man i don't know what i'm looking for you don't know i'm pretty open i'm pretty open okay i don't know if it's i'm looking more for yeah that's the thing i don't know it kind of could go like or i'd be willing to i would love to swing i think i think swinging is like i'm bringing it back baby i <laughs> in 20 in 2018 I did a comedy show. I performed at a Holiday Inn that a swingers party rented out the entire what? Holiday Inn in in New Jersey. Whoa! You know what? I'm gonna save this for another episode. I cannot believe Wait, really? that I haven't talked I think about you've this. Talked about it before? Not on the pod. Oh, okay, got it. Um, but <laughs> that's funny. That's you funny. Definitely, when you're like 40, are gonna be the funniest swinger of all time. Wow, thank you. You're gonna be totally the funniest rich. swinger of all time, <laughs> Carol <Gara> Lawning. <laughs> no, you're you're gonna you're gonna be. I if I sound like I feel like people are gonna be like this this is so dumb if you don't know what swinging is by the way it's like kind of when you partner swap sometimes you do it yeah. in the same room sometimes you don't yeah there's yeah. a lot you can and, do but it all like to be way. fair to be clear like I also this summer I want to be hooking up with people on yeah. my own as well yeah um but yeah, I was gonna I, add is Jacob in the threesome <laughs> wow yeah he's actually he's getting benched yeah no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm asking it. He, he I, is I wasn't in the sure. threesome. Yeah, he okay. is in the threesome. But like, that's not the only openness. I've, I've been open for a really long time. I've never explored anything with Jacob, like, together. you know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like interesting because it's like literally feels like a little bit. Uh, I so don't wait, know. Gira, is your story today just that you're thinking about making a Tinder profile? Well, no, I, I was at. <laughs> I well for one I don't think we've ever talked about no we haven't I'm Tinder no, but I'm, I'm just making sure yeah I guess that's it <laughs> <laughs> is that horrible no it's great it's okay, just I good. was just curious yeah. yeah 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 well because I I, I want to keep people updated on my project for sure I think uh Shannon nailed it I think Shannon nailed every it too. picture and what do you think I think put a lot of detail in the bio and stuff right I just think be transparent you know for sure that's fine. It doesn't have to be so much detail. Just be like, this is this is the situation, and then make it kind of funny. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, I would say say that you're pan that Jacob is bi. Although does he's he, pan. He's pan. Yeah. Well, we uh, two to me, pans. To me, I couple yeah, pots, two, couple pans. Yeah, couple co- pots, couple, couple, couple pans. pans looking for their pot. That's yeah, what yeah, I would. Yeah, put. that's good. That's, that's actually good. a great and only line. Just pictures of pots and pans, and people will be like, <laughs> oh, we'll be like, only picture reveal like <laughs> over text. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think that's a fun line. A couple pans looking for their pot. I think that's good too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll there's let you. a marijuana yeah. reference in there too. Yeah, maybe maybe in an episode sometime I'll let you <laughs> just make, type make out our entire joint. Oh my god, I would love to do that. Okay, I think you'd be very good at it. I'm pretty good. I think you are pretty good. Um, right. I think that that's our time uh, yeah. because we have been speaking for an hour and <laughs> a half have, on oh our God. one hour podcast. Shannon, what are you working on that you want to let the people know about? Where can they find you? I am working on going back to YouTube just a little bit. I think I, I had this thought that I like had d- said everything I wanted to say almost for a minute. And then people were like, no, we like, we miss you and we want your content. Yeah. I was like, that's good to know. And at the same time, I also had this thought that I couldn't be taken seriously as a director, photographer, oh, wow. anything if I also was labeled as a YouTuber. But I That's decided not true. fuck that because mm-hmm. who cares? If I want to make a video, I'm going to make a video. Yeah. I think and also, I can be a great photographer and director on the yes. side. Yeah. And yeah. I, I did very briefly look at your Now This Is Films 
and I thought every shot was beautiful. Like I didn't like go through it very. I was only there for a second, but right off the bat, I was like, "This is beautiful." That is so kind. Yeah, I think you should just do. We should all just do whatever the fuck we want. After a year of not being able to do anything, you go and have that threesome, drink those margaritas, and I'm gonna make some YouTube videos. Fuck yeah, and you Shannon. Continue on with the pinky. Uh, we support you. <laughs> and I'm gonna get my wow. pinky even deeper yeah. than I thought it could go. <laughs> just knuckles deep up in here. My <laughs> hand is falling apart. I'm yeah, having a great summer. You're gonna summer. get it lost in there. Yeah. Um, and like, if my whole channel was always for. I mean, my whole YouTube channel literally was for me. Like it was for my younger self that didn't have that channel, mm, didn't have yeah. that content. And I also now I'm thinking like, I also have no idea what a 30 year old lesbian's life looks like because I mm -hmm. didn't have that content. So yeah. I can't really just continue down that trajectory. Like being gay isn't just about coming out, although that is such a huge part of it. And I was so hyper focused on that messaging and being like, come out. Now I have these kids that like don't even give a fuck about coming out. They're like 14 right, yeah. and they're like, obviously I'm gay. And I'm like, oh yeah. God, how do I talk to you then? Because all I know is how to be like, come out, be yourself. And I was like, but the messaging has changed. Like that doesn't have to, I don't know. What does a 30 year old lesbian's life look like? I guess yeah. I can show you. But yeah. representation of healthy queer relationships, like adults, like cool adults mm -hmm. that yeah. are queer, like things that they can look forward to. That's also gonna help people come out but also like serves other purposes as yeah. well um yeah. so i think it's like, great yeah we need more representation why rob people of it just yeah. because i think i'm too cool for youtube yeah i think it's also the best reason to want to make content is just because like to honor this part of yourself or like because you want that for your younger self i think it's great yeah Anyway, wait, I also wanted to say on the topic of YouTube, do you guys care if I put you in my vlog? Oh, oh my God, yeah. please That'd put be so cool. <laughs> okay. 